All right, guys, geese are back. Time for another track test. This one was a lot easier to build than that last one. And today's goal was to use this four-way booster, or I guess, I guess you can call that a four-way, eight-way, whatever. Um, that we picked up at the Goodwill. Thing works pretty good. We put a couple loops in there, a couple big loops. Threw a couple boosters in to get the job done. We ended up with all our old cars coming up with four that could do it pretty decent. And then, of course, we got the cars that we promised we would break out and use on the next track test. These are from the uh, unboxing that we did. And these are the ones we thought were cool enough, gorgeous enough, fast enough to uh, stay in the collection and not go back into a eBay box. Anyway, so let's start with uh, turning this baby on and run through the ones we know kind of can succeed. I did replace one track since I tested it because um, it felt a little funky. Uh, I forgot which one it is, so we'll keep an eye on it. And we have a roller tape around here somewhere because you can see how in some places it's so old that uh, the connections were real loose. So we just ru taking away the chances that it ruins a race taping the ones that were loose. Anyway, all right, so let's turn this on. Here we go. And I think one of our best cars was uh, our good old What Four Two, which we have, uh, I think, about five of them now. Let's go ahead and run him through. I think we'll start everybody from right here. Well, he almost didn't make it to that one. And he didn't finish that loop. Let's try again. Wow, he's having a tough time getting around there. Well, what do you know? Coming up short on something. Let's go ahead and bend that a little bit. There we go. Try number three or four. Gosh, okay. So he's not getting around like he used to. Okay, have a try. <laughs> Just barely gets there. Alright, he got himself a full lap. Can he do it again? Nope. Can't see what he's hitting, so there you go. Alright. What for if? Now what for two? I think we have two of those here. Yeah, there we go. Here's the black version of it. What for two? That's what it says. Point, point, point. Let's try them. Oh, that wasn't pretty. And that looks like it might be getting a little loose there. That might be a spot to get a piece of tape. Here we go again. Hey, it seems to make it. And I put it back together. <laughs> Somebody else coming apart, we have to take the whole track. Yeah, that is one of the problems with using old Hot Wheels tracks and some of the connections just get a little weak over time. Wow. He's not having a good time through there, is he? <laughs> Alright, well, let's see how he does with a head start. No, he still isn't. Very happy with that. Man, that might be a little tape job coming up. One more try and then we'll see how everybody else does. Let me take a break and do some track repair. Yeah, see, so, you know, something else. Yeah, that thing's a little high, huh? Okay, one more time and then we'll go with somebody else. All right. Yeah, you keep failing in this spot. We might have to uh, smooth that out with some tape. All right. There's the what for twos. Let's see who else kind of made it into the running here. Ah, the what's his name? I think it's Venom Strike. Yep, yep. I remember trying to find out what he was many times. All right, here we go. Let's see how he does. <laughs> well, he's in this group. We thought he was able to handle it. Right again. Something's going on over there. <laughs> All right. All right, give him three tries. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, that's right. Electric. Electric. <laughs> All right. Well, he's here, so he must have done it once at least. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Well, we had some shifting uh, overnight in this track. All these guys are pretty good when we were building it. And they're not now. Of course, you only have to do it once or twice to have me set you aside. And he obviously is getting once, maybe. All right. We definitely have some rough spots, but you guys got the point. Let's go ahead and bust out some of these guys. All right, what do we have? We have the 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Let's get in first. You can tell I already opened these just to make sure I didn't have to struggle with one hand. The Dodge Charger Daytona. Let's see how he does. I'm not putting out great hopes with that giant, that giant whatever fin in the back. Well, whoa, look at this. No, he doesn't like this booster, I guess. Let's give him another try. Oh, gosh. Let's kind of give him a better try than that. What's going on there? All right. One more. Yeah, he's not happy with this uh, four-way here. <laughs> Okay, one more try over here. Okay, bye-bye. Next up, the Shelby. 67 Shelby. Boy, he's beautiful. I would have kept him, even if he can't roll at all. Why does he have different color rims, front and back? That's weird. Anyway, see how he does here. He's real dense. I don't think he's going to be so hot. A little bit heavy. Well, I made it that far. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to make it around there. But yeah, beautiful car. Not good on this track. All right. Next up, we have our two highway speed graphics. Number three and number 10. Here comes number three. It's the Camaro 2018. Gorgeous. Look at that. A little low in the front. I don't think he's gonna be a happy guy with this track. Here we go. Well, he might be proving me wrong. Oh, he didn't even get to this booster. Let's try again. Yeah, there's no way he's getting around that particular loop. Not without a kick. So let's see if this kick one more time gives him a. No, he's, uh, he's going to be for looks. This might try my other tracks down the road that he uh, will be better on. Oh, okay, I love this one. This is the Mazda RX-7. And look at the decals on him. Beautiful. <laughs> RX-7. I like that. All right, let's see him run. In hell. <laughs> Not that kind. Boy, he doesn't like this curve. Try again. Get that curve, man. Didn't even get to the curve that time. Another one is gonna sit around and just look good. At least he ain't gonna do well on this track. All right. RX-7, beautiful, but not functional today. All right, now we got our two uh, highway roadsters. Oh yeah, that's right, these are the guys that are really thin. And we may pull them out again when we uh, use those roof boosters again. Look how thin that guy is. Or flat, I guess, is a better way. That would be thin, this is flat. But he still might do good here because he's so low to the track, but wow, I love the feel of him. Yeah. No, I guess not. Try again. 
There you go. Almost got that far. Let's try with this booster. Whoa, well, we made the big loop. That was crazy. Let's try it again. Big loop. Show us. Oh, upside down, you're not going to do it. How about from here? Oh. All right, last try from here. Okay. You done. Yeah, we're not having a big success rate with our new cars. But remember, most of them were chosen because they look cool. Now they're trying to prove themselves. All right, next up, Lamborghini Reviton. Remember him, the Roadster? Another real flat car. Probably be great in that roof booster, but we don't know because there's a hole in the center. Anyway, let's see how he does here. Not that far. <laughs> he almost made it to the second one. And he doesn't do great in the loop. Let's just do the loop. Nope. Got way too much weight for that. All right. Next up, the X Racers. Okay, let's start with flash drive. You might recognize this guy. When we did the unboxing, I actually put him aside like we weren't going to keep him because I have another one, but the other one turned out to be uh, ah, the junk bucket's gone. He put, turned out to be one that didn't roll well, so this guy came back into the pile of keepers. Let's see how he does on this track. Using this style, not too bad. <laughs> But today, yeah, look at that. He barely fits in there. Probably a lot of rubbing on that. And yeah, he's not getting a good enough kick from that guy to get around the loop. So yeah, maybe a can catch for that, this one. And then we've got, oh, another nice flat one, the Godzilla GT. Metal bottom, plastic top. Not too heavy, so he might, he might hug pretty well. It depends on what kind of a boost he gets out of that ancient booster. Here we go. Well, well, whoa, oh, oh, we have a contender. If he can make it on that big loop, he's going to get a few tries here. Oh, he barely makes it to that one. Oh, come on. If he can make it through here, we got the uh, true champ in the making. Oh! Oh, I don't know. We may have to uh, do some taping and adjusting before the final. So here, this is definitely a finalist. Okay. That was the good Zella. All right, three more. Three more to try here. First up, rocket fire. Remember we had a couple colors of this and we decided that we like the gold better. I forgot what the other color was. Very cool. Big rear wheel. So I don't know if that's good or bad on this track. Nice and flat. Another contender for the roof boosters. Alright. <laughs> Does not like that booster right there. It is mean to him. Let's see if he likes the other side of that one. <laughs> He's not even going to humor us, is he? All right. I wonder what kind of track he's going to be good on, because it isn't this one. Dang, he's cool looking, though. All right. Into the good looker pile, but non-performers. All right, two more. Here we go, the only truck in the group. Ford Ranchero. The truck that isn't a truck. He um, needs a little bit of a low rider, so I don't know. Cool though. If you like Rancheros, you like this guy. Let's see it. Oh, he's kind of narrow. Look at how much room he has. <laughs> I have a feeling he's uh, not going to be happy with these boosters. Here we go. Wow. 
No, I was going to say he was surprised me how smooth he was, but this one, not heavy or not light enough to get through this one, and I'm not getting enough kick. Look at that. This is like a third of the way around, but yeah, he's cool. I like him. He'll be good for the display. I don't know what we were pulling off the race on. All right, last but not least, looks like we've got the Mercedes 2015. Wow, okay. I don't think I've seen one of these on the street. Oh, yeah, he feels cool. Wait, is that metal on top? Oh, it must be, because that's a plastic bottom. Yeah, I like him, but... Um, He's only been one car so far in this group. It's he made it around once. Here we go. Whoa! A stutter start. I like it. Oh, but he didn't make the big loop. He has hope, though. Let's try it from here. Whoa! Upside down, he made it. But still, there's hope. Nope, not that way there isn't. Yeah, he's going to have to hit this booster with some speed, so let's start from over here. That's, <laughs> that's not, not the way to get there. There we go. Oh! And then he bottoms out somewhere. All right, a couple more tries. Yes! Oh! I get all hopeful when he makes it around that. But his weight is just all kind of distributed to the back. He's probably pulling a wheelie somewhere. Yeah, and if he's front off the ground, then he really probably bangs into there somewhere. All right, let's try it from here one more time. Bah! Again. Whoop. Did he hit my cord? Is that me? Uh-oh. Bad. Bad boy. Yeah, everybody barely makes it to this piece. All right, that was pretty good. Those are our finalists. I'm going to add him to the group, even though he didn't quite make it. He just looks so cool failing. And I'm definitely tired of these noises. Whew. All right. There we go, kids. Our finalists. Two from the new set. And four from the old, old crowd. But yeah, that was fun. Some new cards for the display. Some new trash for the bin. Had a great time. Thanks for joining me. Geezer out.